I wanted to do this video today because um, I wanted to show my planners. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've been subscribing since November but I've been too shy and scared to make a video. I've actually got my headphones on with music playing really really loud so I can't even hear myself speak. Um, but I thought I would do it anyway just because why not. So uh, this is my current planet setup. At the moment I have a A5 Webster's Pages and a Traveller's Notebook, also Webster's Pages. Um, and I subscribe to the Coco Daisy and that's what I'm going to be showing today. So I will start with the A5 Planner. Um, this one is a pretty pink one from Webster's Pages. I got this off Amazon, which I wouldn't do again. It took forever to come and I had to pay loads of customs. Uh, so I just get it from a website called Craftalia, I think that's how you say it. Um, and they're just as good. You don't have to pay any customs and they're quite cheap as well. But I still love it. It was a lovely colour, the quality is good, um, and it can fit quite a bit in it. So I started off by just subscribing to the A5 pages in November. Um, and I've slightly changed my planner setup a couple of times since then. Um, but in here I have the i5 pages that I use at the moment. So at the front, obviously we've got the pockets. My camera setup is not that good, so it cuts out bits of it, so... Sorry. So in the front here I've got a few little clips and things. These are a couple of... I've made these way back in November. They're just washi samplers for the little cards that used to get in the kits. A um, little die cut there from July, the sand dollar thing uh, from July, the post-it notes, that's actually a free printable from I think last May, um, and a couple little clips, and the little bike poppy thing from July, and I've just got a, a piece of paper card or paper that I didn't use from February, and I just, because I'm going to keep more than one month in here, I just put the odd little bits in the front just to fill it out and decorate it a bit. So in here at the moment I've got June and July, um, so June is at the back, I'll start with June since that was last month. I always try to laminate the front card to make them a bit tougher and put the whole strengtheners there. I find these tags aren't quite big enough, they need to be a little bit bigger so they can stick out over the, the papers that I use. I've started putting my tabs on the top now, I never used to do that, I used to put them on the side and they would stick out too far. So I like them at the top like this, I think it looks better. So, so I start with a divider at the front, which is always my month at a glance section. I kind of move the pages around a bit. Um, so this is the month at a glance and I put a tab on the back as well for future plans. So this front page is always my sort of ongoing goals. They're going to be the things that I aim to do start in the month, they don't have to be finished in the month, um, but there's something I want to try to start doing or ongoing from the previous month. So you can have up, I have up to five and a month I've got at the moment I've got sort of three. Not that I've done much with them, but they're there to remind me to do them. And then I have obviously the month at a glance page which is usually my favourite page. So on this page I always use lots of die cuts, stickers, try and do some fancy writing just to decorate it as much as I can and this will be the page that I leave open on my desk so I can just glance at it to see what's coming up. Um, also I think it looks the best. On the other side this is where the future plans comes into play. Um, so I just write down any birthdays using those little flags um, I think they, I'd call them flags. They don't do these on the main sticker sheet anymore, um, but I've started getting the add-on, which is alright because there's lots on there. I also have lots of spare stickers from previous months, which I use. Um, and I also put any sort of upcoming holidays, key dates, anything like that on this page here. Um, I just stamp birthdays up there as well. So on this side, this is my Hello June and meal planning section. Um, so these stripe pages are my favourite. Oh, so yeah, I said that was my favourite and now these are my favourite, I, so I love it all. Um, they're really pretty, um, so I just use them for decoration, I stick some die cuts, again some writing, stamps. Um, this hasn't got so much planning, this is more just sort of prettiness that I like to do. But on the back I will do my meal planning um, and I use these little day stickers uh, to do that. Sometimes I forget to do a meal plan and 
rather than planning ahead, I'll write down what I had previously um, as sort of like a food diary. Um, I actually ate some good stuff that week. This here, I was really proud of this. This was a little bookmark that I made. Um, so my printer, for some reason, has started printing colours really, really dull. And this is meant to be part of the free printables. Um, and you can see that the colours really washed out. So I thought to brighten it up a bit, I will sew around it with some brightly coloured thread. Um, and just sew a piece of the card to the back. And use a bit of washi tape there. And these little beads at the bottom just to brighten it up and I think that really means even though the colours are washed out it looks really bright it looks really good um, and I just put a little what do you call it, paper clip up there um, which I think I really like it although it does pad it out a lot um, so it's more of these stripe pages sometimes I use them less than I think um, if I'm working I kind of forget about my planner sometimes um, you can see I kind of didn't fill it out so much, um, or at all on that day. Um, yeah, I wasn't very good at planning uh, towards the end of June. Um, next section is my June vlogs and my budget planner. Um, so this is where, at the front, where I had these, these goals. I can have up to five, um, because I have five of these pages. So this is my, I want to buy a house, obviously it's very difficult, it takes a lot of time, um, but something I've really started to think about this year. Um, it's going to take a long time trying to save £100 a month, um, but I love this sticker, little steps add up to big results, which is really really true. I've also decided that if I can save a bit extra each month, I can treat myself to add-ons from Coco Daisy, uh, which I would do anyway. Then in the middle here, this is where I would do any planning. Um, what I've also done here is written out the planner challenge because I, I, I want to have a go at doing that even though I didn't do it very well in uh, June. On the back here is my budget tracker so I just do it as a graph rather than writing down what I saved or what I spent, I just do a graph. Not that I always keep up with this. Um, and this happens every week, so there's another goal here. Um, but as you can see, I wasn't that good at using my planner this month, which is why I'm having a planner crisis, but I'll come on to that. Um, you can see what it was, was I had a few days off work at the beginning of June, so I really used it, and then when I went back to work, I kind of was distracted and didn't do a lot in here, which always makes me really sad. Although I did make this little bookmark with a planner challenge, some extra die cuts, um, and I did it like that, with little slits so I can just take it out and put it back here without having to open the rings. And again the same here, this was just a free printable again, um, I typed up sort of a schedule, um, and again I put that in, um, just so it's something to look at, not that I ever follow this schedule but it's there to make me feel like I'm more organised. Um, then at the back is obviously the daily to-dos, which you can't really do anything else with them other than that they're to daily to-do and on the back of the notes. Um, so just for a few things I plan to do and on the back any notes that I do. Um, I don't tend to use these very much. I often have lots left over, as you can see I've only used about Four, four for June so the spare ones I take out I put in storage and I come back to them cut bits out of them for memory keeping or some point in the future if I can't subscribe anymore I can still use them and I always have one piece of card at the end as a back page and then obviously my post-it notes from June so that was my June set up um, July obviously is very similar um, but obviously with a new new pages. Um, I was really mad at myself because for some reason I completely messed up my hole puncher. You can see on the bottom all the holes I had to do. Really messed it up. Um, so thankfully this month we got this lovely piece of vellum which I put in. Um, so kind of from here hides I made that horrible mistake. <laughs> um, plus it's really pretty. Um, so it follows the same setup as I do every month. My goals here, I can't change my goals this month. Obviously house is the main one. Oh, left the driving. 
I've been tidy and I've had two weeks off this month. I've been off from the beginning of July and off to the end of this week um, and it's been amazing. So I've been able to sort out my office, sort out the bedroom, do lots of tidying, get loads of stuff. Um, that's been ongoing. So there's my holiday marked off on this page. Okay, so you can see I had lots of events and that's why I have lots of birthdays this month. Um, so again, like I said with last month, this stays open on my desk. Um, so walking past my office, I can just look in and see what's going on. Again, on the back is the future plan section. I haven't put the birthdays on this month just because I, I know them off the top of my head anyway. So I don't really need them written down. Um, so I kind of feel like those stickers I could use for something else um, but instead I've written days off and he, I've got dentists in October, that sort of thing um, I feel like I could do something so much better with this page but I haven't been creative enough to think of what to do so any ideas would be appreciated um, again, my next section they're always the same every month so hello July and my meal plan I just made a sort of a plain bookmark this month um, with the post-it notes on the back um, just the same sort of size of the page I did start to make a bookmark like last month's um, but it takes so long <laughs> I haven't got that far with it yet um, so same with these pages I got the planner add-on this month so I've got the little stickers I could use um, which was nice not to have to write them and these lovely little stickers um, again, I haven't been amazing at doing using my planner, even though I've had the week off, but I have been busy. Um, this is this week, obviously, there's not much there, but I will go back and use stickers and extra die cuts and things I have just to make it pretty. Um, and obviously the July goals again. This is where I've been really trying to organise my life. Um, so these are pages I've actually used a bit more. You can see this month, this week, I really, I use these things. Um, but I really had everything there, so even if I didn't follow it exactly, I could just have a look and see what still needed to be done. Um, so that was really useful. But I haven't done my budget planner on the here this month, just because there's so much going on, I don't think I could fit the graph in. I don't want to draw over the pretty pictures, so I might figure out another way of doing that. Um. And then obviously the daily to do pages again. At the moment, I've got the whole section there. Um, but at, like, at the end of the month, any that I haven't used, I'll take out and keep separately. Um, but really, that is my whole A5 planner. Um, I am having a bit of a planner crisis at the moment. I originally did subscribe to just the A5, um, but I found it kind of too big to take around with me. So then I changed to the personal planner. I've now changed back to this because I missed the big pages, um, but I also get the B6 story booklet, which will be the next thing I show. Um, so I will just grab it. Okay, so this is my traveller's notebook. This is what I've been using um, for a few months since I think, well, June. <laughs> um, I have got several of these, which I plan to use for about the next year. Um, this is the new suede one from Webster's Pages um, and the little charms I got on the front this one, these two are from Coco Daisy this one was from March with the peacocks this one from July um, this is actually a little charm from a charm bracelet I got from Primark years ago um, but I thought it went really well so I put it on there <coughs> So again I have June and July in here so we'll start with June. I bought myself as a treat the dashboards this month as well so I just made these little sort of protective covers for them. Um, they're just, just like that with some of the dashboards and the other two I used to stick on the front of the covers. Um, this is really more memory keeping that I've been doing in here. Um, although I do find it kind of hard to do that, I don't do a lot to write about, I sort of when I'm working especially, um, so I won't open it too much, but um, at the front obviously is a little calendar, I've just written days off and things, and then on this page I put the planner challenge, so I didn't 
didn't stick to it in June very well, but I like having it there so I can see what it is. And I'm doing a bit better in July, so I think having it there will sort of make it into a habit for me. So then the next few pages, um, I've done some journaling, which I won't open just because it can be private. But if I find a page where kind of use all my pages um what I was going to do is just show you the blank pages I'll show it in July um but I kind of just write a few notes of what I've done on that day um which isn't usually a lot but it's, it's cool just to write a few things in the middle though um I have done some sort of memory keeping on these pages um which I think is nice just like a little kind of like a scrapbook I suppose um, of the things we did, so we went to Painting Zoo, um, this little goat, and we went, we live right next to the estuary, so we've gone sort of walking um, at low tide and things, um, some more pictures of the zoo, um, I had lots of barbecues in the sun, um, yeah, and that's basically what I've used that for, again with the thing on the back page. Um, and then July is the same layout. I've got the dashboards again at the front to protect it a bit. And again, so this month again, I've got my holiday days off marked off on the calendar. And again, my planner challenge here, which I have been better at sticking to. I'm not sure what today's date is off the top of my head. Um, I haven't done it for a couple of days, but I've done a lot more than I had last month. Um, so that's pretty good. Again, I use it for journaling, so i show you a blank week, for example. I just do a day across like that. Um, so this would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I just go through it like that. In the middle of this month, I gave myself a 31-day declutter challenge, um, which I have been getting through. I haven't done it one every day, but... It's sort of, I think it makes, when you have a goal in mind, one big goal, it's quite scary, but if you can break it down into little little chunks, it makes it a bit easier. Um, and I, for example, I know on one day, all I have to do is one of these things, um, but then I'm making, I'm building up to doing the whole goal, which is quite nice. Um, here I've just had a spare page and I had lots of sorting out to do in my office. Um, I've got lots of spare things and I didn't know how to store them so I wrote it all down and actually it's worked out really well because I've got a kind of system now which works um, and really again I'll just at the end of the month I'll get my photos and I'll just put them in here do some memory keeping with them and um, I think that'd be really nice at the front I've got a few bits and pieces because I intend to have three months per one of these you can put four booklets in here but i've got four of these so i thought if i keep it sort of in line with the seasons might be quite nice um so i can do three months in each um so i've got space for one more um so i just put some of the stuff in the front obviously there's three months so i've got the bike from june the little jellyfish from july and then something when i get next month's kit i'll pop it in here and that will sit at the front just to make it look busy and this is where I keep all my stickers um, for the month that's currently happening. At the end of July, when it turns to August, I'll take these out, put them in my sticker storage, and then put my August stickers in here, um, which I think is really cool. I, I do like this. This is much easier to take around with me. This fits in my bag, um, although nothing else fits in my bag when this is in there. Um, which is why I'm having a dilemma. So back in November, like I said, I used to, I have subscribed just to the A5 pages um, and the whole kit. Um, I really, really like the pages, but it was too big, too bulky to take around with me. So I changed to the personal size pages, which I love. They were much easier to take around with me, but I really missed the size of the big pages um, that you when you look at the A5 page compared to the personal page, you've just got so much more space. Um, so I did miss it. So I decided to go back to the A5 pages 
which I keep at home, um, I get this, which would be what I take around with me. But doing that, because I don't do a lot other than work, I don't think I use it to the as much as I could. I've, I feel like I've only really used it this month because I've had such a long time off work. Um, so I'm now having another crisis. <laughs> I got sent this. This is a mini daisy drawer from a couple of years ago. And I think what I'm gonna do is change my subscription to this and this. Um, so basically I have to keep these because I bought four Webster's pages um, which will last me till next March um, so I want to keep those and I, I quite like them to do the memory keeping and stuff in but I think I might make this my new planner because this will fit my bag I feel like I'll take it around with me um, and I think I will use it more than I use the pages but then my the reason I'm so unsure is because I think I'll really miss the pages. My huge dilemma was that I love the striped pages, but this doesn't have a calendar. But the bigger Dory booklets have the calendar but not the striped pages. So my head's all over the place with planner things. Um, genuinely, sometimes I can't sleep because I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, but I did buy myself a new Webster's Pages pocket um, Traveller's Notebook hasn't come yet, um, but because I've done that, I'm going to have to change my subscription. I think that will work better for me. I think I will miss the pages though. But it's good to see, change it up, see what I think, um, and I can always change it back. Um, but yeah, that is everything. So thank you for watching. Obviously, do the whole like and subscribe thingy. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs>